Hey everybody, this is Joseph Vogley of Stobley Films. I am the co-writer, the director, and the creator of the new slasher sensation Specimen 6, which will be out on DVD June 2020, so later on this year. Okay, so welcome to another uh, video of Stogley Films Reviews. Um, today is uh, a little different than what we've been usually doing. I'm not talking about one thing or other in particular. Well, I am talking about one thing. Um, so I'm not uh, reviewing like one movie in particular. I am actually showing you something that I got in the mail. I ordered it a couple months ago. Uh, it finally came in a couple weeks ago, but I was just able to get around to opening it now. And I wanted to share it with everybody. So uh, one of the... Um, some of my favorite movies are done by an Italian director named Lucio Fulci. Um, he has do done uh, House by the Cemetery, and if you've seen it, uh, Zombie, uh, which is has the one of the coolest uh, scenes in cinema history. It's where a zombie uh, fights a shark, and it's an actual shark, and it's this super cool scene. They had a, like a a shark wrangler or something like dress up like a zombie and then they filmed him like messing with the shark and uh it's one of the craziest scenes you'll ever seen uh zombies a very cool film has some of the coolest uh zombie effects it's about this uh young woman that goes looking for her father who's out on this tropical island and she gets there with this reporter and finds out that uh zombies have taken over all over the place uh there's some very scary stuff in that film um, Lucio Fulci also did a movie called The Beyond, and um, its original title was like Seven Doors of Death. Um, so there's this company that I saw, I was going through uh, Facebook a couple months ago, and they are called Grindhouse Releasing, and they are doing these kind of tributes to, or sequels, to some of the classic Fulci films and other Italian director uh, uh, movies. And uh, this one is a sequel, I guess. Um, I haven't really like looked into it too much, or maybe it's an adaptation. I think it's a sequel to uh, the the Beyond. Um, no, I think it's an adaptation. Anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick uh, what they came out with. So Grindhouse Releasing has like they really give you a full packages. Uh, full. This is a comic book that's uh, like an adaptation. Um, yeah, you know, I used to go to the comic book shop quite a lot and get a whole lot of. Uh, comic books superhero titles other things um but i kind of like the habit was getting to be a little too expensive you know your average comic book is about four to five dollars some of the special editions are 10 to 20 to whatever um so i had to kind of scale back on what i was doing as far as buying comic books plus there's just a lot of comics that the titles i really like that um just kind of like went downhill so yeah i was just kind of like yeah you know i'm gonna hold off and just kind of start uh working on uh, maybe a small private collection of things that are like, you know, seem really special. And this seemed really special. I mean, I had my fingers crossed, but it, uh, I just opened the package. So I want to show you this package, okay? So the opening, it comes in a slip case, the comic book itself, and this is pretty darn cool. It's got some really cool artwork right there. You can see the beyond. Um, it's got some beautiful artwork on the cover. Um, good inks, good pencils, good colors, and in general, this slipcase is really nice, so you can put the comic book back in there um, when you're done, and maybe put it on your shelf even, and it looks nice because it's a little thicker right here, or just put it in a box. On the back, you got um, the explanation here, a little bit uh, other artwork. Uh, oh yeah, they call it Fulci Comics. Yeah, and so, um, but the really cool thing about this is it actually comes with the original motion picture soundtrack of Seven Doors of Death. I will show you that here right now. So, I mean, how cool is that that you got uh, a comic book that comes with a really cool, uh, you know, soundtrack? Oh, sorry about that. It's right there. I'm really looking forward to listening to this because all the Lucio Fulci films had really cool soundtracks. I mean, if you go back and you look at the Italian horror directors, um, one of my favorite uh, films of all time uh, is called Cannibal Holocaust. And it's really like if you're a hardcore horror aficionado, yeah, that's like kind of for you but if you're just a casual viewer it's I wouldn't you know recommend it because there's uh it's dealing with um uh a lot of like really hardcore uh, uh subject matter uh it's about this uh group of uh filmmakers that go down to South America to go uh film uh uh tribes of uh headhunters and whatnot lost tribes have never had any contact with mankind yada yada they end up messing with them and they end up uh getting killed by them 
um, that's not a spoiler. Um, uh, and then there's this professor that uh, is tasked to go find their footage. He goes down there to see what happened to them, and he finds out that these guys were like um, dicks that riled up the, uh, the local tribal uh, people, and they kind of deserve their just desserts. Um, so anyway, Cannibal Holocaust has one of the most beautiful soundtracks, and that's really why I like it. Um, if you just go to YouTube, type in Cannibal Holocaust soundtrack, you're going to be blown away. Trust me, it's some of the most beautiful music you've ever heard in your life. Um, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to listening to this CD, which I will do um, tonight. Um, so it comes also with some uh, trading cards, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, there's that one right there. Really nice artwork from the comic book. And on the back of that one is some panels from the comic book. So you can see there's some nice, like, inks going on there and some contrast with the, with those. And then some nice computer animated little things, like the way they colored that right there, the lightning. And just in general, it's like a really good product. And, it's, you know, it's an actual cardboard card, just like old days. This one's pretty cool. So I guess this is the character on there. So... That's really nice artwork. And then the back is almost, you know, completely different as far as that artwork goes. But, you know, that's really nice. So I'm really excited about those. I'm going to put them in a slip case and, and save them because this is definitely like, it's collector stuff, but, oh, cool. Okay. So here is a, it's a different sort of artwork, but I kind of like it. Um, it's like a pinup of some stuff that's going on there with the main character, who is this gal that um, buys a, uh, inherits a hotel in uh, Louisiana, and she finds out that there's like doors of hell underneath. So this right here, that's nice. You know, hard right there. Um, Lucio Fulci's The Beyond. Um, this is a, a limited print. So this in particular is 81 out of 300. So that's actually pretty special, and it's signed by the artist show that to you one more time so that's different the comic book itself is is a limited run too but that's like one of a thousand i think um so that's pretty cool i will show you two other things that came in this package so there's this nice other little bit of original art that uh came with it it does not look like it's signed but it is pretty nice it'd be cool to put up like frame and put up there's all these like uh souls from the afterworld or something like that that are um lying there dead and writhing in pain and stuff like that that's actually that's really nice uh draftsmanship there um and then on the back of it um there's a little personal note here from the people that made the comic book so that's really nice um and so i shall show you the actual product itself so this is the comic book that it came with um, so it's nice right there. It's actually, you got a thick com. I think the whole thing, the package cost me 20 or $25, but as you can see, it's worth it. I mean, it comes with a really high quality comic book. This has got good card stock, um, cover here and it's got some slick paper inside and it's not rubbing off. So that's actually a really good quality paper. Um, I'm going to read this later on tonight. Um, but as you can see, there's some pretty nice artwork in there. Um, there's some real quality that went into this comic book, so I'm really excited for this package, and I think it was really worth the money that I paid for it. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so, you know, this is pretty cool. Oh, here it is. So this is uh, Grindhouse Comic Books, which are releasing is what that says on the main package, but on here it says Ebon Press Comics. So that must be their printing title of sorts um so oh no it is an untold story from the you know from that universe but not you know from that movie but not the movie itself so um really excited for this um see that's really cool uh that they came out with that and um i applaud people that you know have a passion for uh you know any sort of artwork and you feel really creative um this is obviously a very limited run they weren't trying to be super famous but they loved Lucio Fulci you could tell they loved his films and they thought how can we honor him and uh, do something that would you know uh, also honor the the fans of of Lucio Fulci and I, I really think they accomplished that I'll show you that cover one more time so um, you know if you got that creative burning desire and you just to do whatever um, artwork you know go make a comic book go make a movie go um, just do whatever. I mean, if you got like woodworking skills, metalworking skills, just go out and do it and then, you know, uh, show it to the world. Like these guys, you know, they had this passion. They wanted to share their passion with the world. So um, I give them a thumbs up and uh, yeah, 
I'm really excited to read this, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this and maybe go check out some of their stuff. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.